Hello, I'm Andy Rash, the technical trainer for DMAG Cranes and Components. In this video, we will show you information the service technician needs to know about the DC chain hoist pendant, its troubleshooting tips, and height adjustment. The pendant cable comes up to a thumb clamp and carries on up through a slot that goes over the top of the electric panel and then over to the bag where we keep and store the excess cable. To change the cable length for operating height of the pendant, we leave the cable in the groove, we'll undo the thumb clamp and make an adjustment. Releasing the thumb clamp will allow us to pull on our cable to get extra length. You can work it from either side. When dealing with the extra pendant cable, it is a very good idea to take a few moments and fold it neatly so that all the excess cable fits nicely into the supplied nylon bag to hold it. The bag will hold about 9.8 feet of cable. Once folded and put into the pouch, the pouch will contain the cable and keep it from harm's way. That way it won't tangle with any moving parts and it will safely stay in the open extra area under the black cover. When you start a hoist and e-stop, you should see a figure eight in the display. If you turn power on by disengaging the e-stop, and the figure eight remains in the LED screen, it means you might have a loose connection at the top of the pendant cable going into the pendant. To get to that point, turn power off and remove the sleeve at the top. Take and undo its ears. Wiggle it off and you'll see that it's a twist lock with an RJ connector without a tab on it that pushes down and the twist lock forces it to make contact with the socket and then the twisting action pushes on it and locks it in place. Many, many times that the e-stop signal won't clear, it's because of a loose pendant cable connection right here. It's a bad habit to pull a loaded chain hoist around by the handle on the pendant. What usually happens is the loosening of the connection. So please always check that first. We'll take a pendant apart for either a substitution troubleshooting technique or to check the interlocking connection plug at the top. Undo the covers over the ears of the anti-kinking sleeve. Pull that up, undo the twist lock, and there's your plug. When you put it back together, make sure the plug is seated. The twist lock will help aid in the seating. Return the anti-kinking sleeve. It may take a little manipulating it to get it up over the front top of this push button station. A 30 second technique to check one third of the electrical parts of the hoist. Please remember that there is a separate pendant for the variable speed chain hoist. It is a different part number and the buttons are configured internally different. But in the two speed hoist, it's very easy to substitute a pendant. Just unplugging the old one and trying a different one to eliminate that as being one of the three possible electrical problems on a hoist. So with that, please keep that in mind and watch our other videos which talk about the other electrical component, the control board.